I showed a way of um, decorating your nail uh, heads using a file, triangle file uh, before, it's a flat file. Um, I used a triangle file which I can't seem to find at the moment. And I said on there I'd show another way of doing it, perhaps if you didn't have a file. So um, I don't like this technique too much, um, but it is a bit quicker. And to be honest, uh, the roughness of the work um, compared to the file isn't that much a problem, I just prefer the file. Um, so what I've found is this old plate, I've got no idea what it was used for, but it comes with lots of different sized holes in it. And it sits under the bench until I need it from time to time uh, to support uh, nail heads like that. Or rivets for various reasons. You don't need something like this, you can equally just use the uh, vise. My vise has become a bit uneven, which is why I don't use it now. One jaw is higher than the other. Um, or you can just drill a hole in a bit of wood. Um, or even a bit of steel if you have some lying around, something like this. It only has to support the head of the nail. So, assuming you're all set up in that respect, next is find an old chisel. This used to be a center punch. I was given in a set of them, which I've taken to a, a chisel head there. You should be able to see that. Um, a bit blunt at the moment, but it's good enough for this. And find yourself a light hammer. So the first step then, if you're using nails that are covered in uh, galv or galvanized material, like this one, file that off before you start. So this has just gone through the uh, grinder there just to touch off that, because it's a bit of a pig to do once you've um, mucked about with the chisel. So drop it in the hole if you have one, if not stick it in the vise, take your light hammer and your chisel. Now sometimes you find, uh, maybe we'll be able to pick it up on this, let me just see, possibly, my eyes are failing me, but you can see on there sometimes the chisel goes a bit blunt, has an arrowhead on it. Um, that's fine for this sort of work, just make sure the sharp bit is facing in towards the center. And don't worry about being too accurate, but equally don't be too sloppy. Plop that on there flush and just tilt it back a bit and give it a tap. And then go directly opposite as best as you can. It'll move around but don't worry. And just make your way around with as many as you want to do. I find halving it and then halving them again works well. Like I say I don't particularly like this one. I don't think it looks as nice as filing but it'll do if you don't have a file or perhaps you prefer this look. Whatever works. No need to panic over things that don't need panicking over. Right, so there we go, let's have a look. So you can see we've got that in there. So I'm going to quickly just take a file around the outside, just off camera, take two seconds. <laughs> And there we have, I hope, yeah, I don't see it very well in that angle, a decorative nail head, which if I had some leather handy, idea of what we should be looking for. Here we go, put that in there, and you can see how it just lifts that nail head a bit makes it look a bit more decorative and a bit nicer, a little bit more regular as well actually, which is kind of a nice medieval feel to it, nice and handmade. But there you go, nice and straightforward, just need a smally hammer, a homemade chisel, a bit of wood or metal with some holes in, or a vise, and you're away, and you can decorate all of your nail heads if you're using them to secure leathers and so on.